I'm a fisheries manager or fisheries director for the Sonomish tribe, and I have been since uh, 1975. When I accepted the job, my father, who was still alive then, he says, okay, he says, you want to get into the political business. He says, you're going to get into it now. And that was the truth. The tribes, they could only fish on reservation. And of course, the fish are, you know, not always on reservation. And so they started going out. They started getting caught. And they started going to jail. And so. They um, made a movement and went to court. We reserved our hunting rights and our fishing rights, and we get 50% of the fish. The boat decision gave us co-management authority, but there was no communication between the state and the tribes. In the late 80s, I think we had 121 court cases. We didn't work with the state. They didn't work with us. And it was actually Bill Wilkerson and Billy Frank Jr., you know, that um, got together and said, we got to stop this. I was very doubtful that we were going to get anywhere, but we did. We did, and we started working together with the state. We quit taking each other to court. And then we started regulating the fisheries the way we were supposed to. And out of that came the North Falcon process. Our biologists and the state biologists, they develop a forecast, and that's done in December, January, and by uh, February we have agreed upon forecasts for all of the areas. Every North of Falcon is a challenge. Sometimes you have to make hard decisions, what you're going to do, what you have to cut back. We have to approve our final plan, and then we go fishing. Everything is counted. showing declines throughout Puget Sound. Yeah. And then these are butters. So you can see the butters. We know where our fishermen are fishing. We can tell you who's out there and who's not out there. You have a quota to catch and you have to stick within that quota. And if you catch caught that quota then you you have to quit. I love the job. I love working with the tribes and I even love working with the state. <laughs> I would not be in this job if I wasn't hopeful. I do believe that we will come together and fix the habitat, you know, and get our fish the way it was back in the early 80s or 70s. We don't believe that we should be fighting over the last fish. We don't believe that we should be fishing the last fish. We believe that we should be recovering our salmon. <laughs>